Okay, I just want to show you how I use uh, Shift Trace as more of a, a cleanup pass for my animation. So here I have a rough pass. Let me go ahead and hit play. Worms are friends, not food. It says worms are friends. Worms are friends, not food. Not food. Worms are friends, not food. Not food. Worms are friends. Not food. Not food. Worms are friends. And so I created a new column, and as I'm going through. I want to try to stay closer to on model. So if I if I come down here, okay, see like frame 151, his head is slightly bigger and just kind of weird looking cuz I was just trying to to get the acting down. And so if we come up here Let's find something more on model. Like, okay, I really like frame five, okay? So what I'm gonna do is come down here to 151, and I'm gonna change uh, change it to 151. Uh, just auto renumber. And so if I come up here to view, shift and trace, then you see these little numbers over here, one and two. If I click them, it turn it toggles them on and off. And so let's click one and toggle it off. And we'll come up here to frame five over here to the far left and we'll click and see how it put the number one. That's the drawing we're gonna shift and trace, okay? And it doesn't actually move the drawing. It's just like a ghost of it. And now we can come down here to frame 151 and let's go back up to view edit shift and you see these four little points okay and now we can align this drawing and rotate it to get it kind of where we want i'm just looking at the the head part okay so now we can go in and let's turn off our rough animations and go back to 151. And this will be our drawing at 151. Okay, I'm just using it like as a guide to get this size of the, the cheeks, the face, and the head kind of back on model and I could use it for the beak let's see if the beak is if it's kind of looking yeah it's kind of off to the side so I could even use it as an anchor like something like this just to kind of get the size of that beak back on model okay maybe lightly do that and then his eyes are looking at us. So he's like, oh no. Okay, and maybe this comes back there. And his bottom jaw will be, you know, he's doing dialogue. So let's go back to our rough animation. Okay, it doesn't have any eyelids, so let's erase those. But yeah, see how the rough, his mouth is open? So we could, ah, uh, it's that ah, uh, ah uh shape. So we could get that in there. Maybe pull this down a bit. Okay. Ah. Ooh. Maybe that comes down like that. Okay. And then uh, we can we can go back to this view and reset shift, and that resets that that ghosted image, and click shift and trace again, and it turns it off. And now we have. We have a new drawing that's pretty much on model. 
let's compare it to the old animation yeah see how see how off I was the cheeks were the head was getting way big the bottom jaw was really huge okay anyway that's how I use uh, shift and trace all right well happy animating and I'll talk to you later bye